What's going on guys? It's your boy Andy Matrix in Final Fantasy 16. Well, it's just already a lot of talks about it. And um Yoshi P, which is the creator and director of uh, Final Fantasy 14 and Final Fantasy uh, 16, which came out last year. So Yoshi P had a lot to say about fun the development of Final Fantasy 17. And I find it very interesting what he said because I I, I kind of don't agree. <laughs> I kind of don't agree what he said. I mean, he's a great guy. I mean, I you know you, you gotta love the guys. Yoshi P for God's sakes. But the development of Final Fantasy Seventeen. Let's let's just hear what he has to say about this really quick. So before we get started, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell for future notifications. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, Japanese culture. If you're into any of that stuff, then make sure to subscribe. Now let's get it. We are here at GameRant.com. It says Final Fantasy 17 development could be different in one major way. Right? So it says uh, Final Fantasy producer Yosh uh, Nok Yoshida or Yoshi P suggests that younger developers should lead a potential Final Fantasy 17 bringing new ideas and stories to the franchise. Um, yeah, I have mixed feelings about that. I have mixed feelings. Now, uh, I, I guess I guess if it's if it's like a Japanese a younger Japanese developer yes but the problem is I'm not sure if you've seen what's happening in the gaming industry and in Hollywood and in the comic book industry one of the main reasons why a lot of these things have become so PC right politically correct is because a new you know, the, the younger generation came into the workforce and started changing things. Let's just say <laughs> they started changing things. And thus, that's why we have things like the problems with anime and, and manga localizations and comic book industry going down the drain. You know, just being, you know, they just covered it all, all up in the rainbow, the comic book industry. Same thing with the movie industry, you know, Star Wars, Disney, all that stuff, right? It's just... It's a lot of crap. So yeah, I I, I don't think that the, it has to be a younger creator. Because I mean, a new a new pro a new director, developer, producer, they can also come up with new ideas. Come on, if you're an artist, your job is to come up with ideas all the time. Final Fantasy 16, it w it might have not been the best Final Fantasy, but it was it was unique. It was very unique, you know. He goes on to say, um, he says, Yoshida emph uh, emphasizes that nothing has been decided yet regarding the development of the next Final Fantasy game. Which means we're, is we're probably not going to see it until like 2026 or 2027. That's my estimate. It says the focus should be on creating a Final Fantasy game concept that ensures players have fun and enjoy the game for years to come. And I got to say, Final Fantasy 16 was very good. It, was, I, I it has an amazing story because it has such a great story. But I think where the game fails is the gameplay. Yeah, but then again, Final Fantasy has always been about the story, mainly about the story. So, what? first let me tell you. Let me tell you what I would like. Okay, What I would like in Final Fantasy 17. I want to see something. I want to see less, less technology, right? Because the old Final Fantasies... Uh, they they were always more fantasy epic fantasy based right once we get uh, once we got to final fantasy 7 it became science fantasy and then we got final fantasy 8 which was also science fantasy uh final fantasy 9 was epic fantasy final fantasy 10 was it was science fantasy it was more fantasy than science but you get the point and then once we got to final fantasy 13 and 12 they would they all seem to be leaning towards more of the sci-fi stuff right it's the same thing with Final Fantasy 15. So I want more epic fantasy. That's what I want. So I would like to see like a prehistoric, a prehistoric Final Fantasy, like I don't know, like uh, like in the caveman times or something like that. Something related to that. That would be really, really, really cool in my opinion. If we got like a, you know, like a a prehistoric Final Fantasy. That's what I would like to see. It just has to be fantasy, and it has to look different than the other games. It has to look different, you know? It has to look different. So, uh, I also like what 
what he hit what he said here on this on uh, Eurogamer.net. I mean, I highlighted. It. it says Final Fantasy is about challenging what's been done before. He said, and while I'm certainly not looking to pick a fight with all the other games, we we all make Final Fantasy games thinking mine will be the most fun. And I think that was, I mean, and of course, the next one is always going to be better. However, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15 was not taken very well. As a matter of fact, I think 13, Final Fantasy 13 was way better than 15. Um, and I didn't even play the whole Final Fantasy 13. Um, so 16, I really like, I, I like the, the world of 16. The only problem was that the, uh, you know, when you play the game, the world itself is not very interactive. You just kind of wander around it. Uh, so the gameplay could I use some you know some other things other than that I think it was an absolute great game with a great story now the next one it's you know and I think the next one they really have to think about they really have to think more about gameplay and interacting with the world I think that that will be, that will be the next the, the, the next thing because if you look at Final Fantasy 7 remake Right, Final Fantasy VII Remake and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The next, the, the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that's come that's coming soon. It has a hundred hours of gameplay. It's an is very open world. And so, I think that's what people are looking. What what people are looking at is not just to enjoy the story, but also the, the the gameplay. Like once you beat the game, there's another like you know maybe like 10, 20 hours extra of you doing things, right? Uh, one of the main problems that Final Fantasy 16 had was that there was so much dialogue. One of the most annoying things is that it has too much dialogue. Like I, I literally skipped some, you know, some cutscenes from like miss side missions I was doing because it, it was just so long. I, it became kind of annoying. But anyways, um, that's my take on Final Fantasy 17. I really hope it, you know, they do something new, something we haven't seen before. Um, you know. Innovation. I want to see some freaking innovation for God's sakes. And uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I mean, what what would you want in Final Fantasy 17? You know, comment below. And don't forget to uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your boy in the Matrix. Godspeed, baby.